Hello, Watch Lady 66 here. The purpose of my channel is to introduce you to my best friend and savior, Jesus Christ. My channel is based on two scriptures, John 3.16 and Jeremiah 29.11. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And Jeremiah 29.11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans for hope and a future. Today, I especially believe that John 3.16 ties in with my message today. So stay tuned. Today, I wanted to share with you a dream that the Lord gave me several years ago. I prayed to find out if it was God's will for me to share. It turns out it wasn't. I went for a long walk today it was absolutely a beautiful day in Southeast Michigan. It is November 20th, and it felt like it was the beginning of September. I was just enjoying God's creation and talking to him and trying to get a feel for what he would have me share. And he spoke into my heart the last words that I expected that he would say. And I clearly heard him say, warn my people about hell. I stopped looking at the scenery and focused in on God. Let me interrupt myself here to share that God does speak to his children in a variety of ways. The number one way is through his word, which I am in every day without fail. King David said in Psalm 119, 105, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I believe a number two way that God speaks to his children is through the still small voice of his Holy Spirit. See 1 Kings 19, 11 to 13. When this happens, when he speaks to me this way, I can know that it's his voice because it lines up with his word. Anything that doesn't line up with his word, I just disregard, assuming that it was just my mind's voice. This warning, however, that I heard while I was walking outside is definitely scriptural. I have to be obedient to deliver this message. What you do with it is entirely your choice. Here is the message. My heart is breaking over each and every person who has willfully decided to reject me. It is not my will that any should perish. It is not my will that any should perish. He repeated it a third time. I was reminded of 2 Peter 3, 9, that no one should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Anytime the Lord repeats something, he means it emphatically. I'd like to address three questions that you might have about this unpopular subject. For the first one, you might say, I've done a ton of good deeds. Don't these count in my favor when all is said and done? That is a great question. Your good deeds don't count towards your salvation. Salvation is a free gift. There is nothing we can do to earn our salvation, our salvation. If we list our good deeds before God to gain entrance to heaven, it will not go well. Our good deeds are like filthy rags to a holy God. In Isaiah 64, 6b, it says, all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. Isaiah 57, 12 says, I will expose your righteousness and your works and they will not benefit you. Only Jesus was capable of paying the price for forgiveness of our sins. And he did. First John 1 John 1.9 says, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And that is good news. Here's yet a second question that you might have. Hell isn't really a literal place, right? So why should I be worried? Again, that's an excellent question. Hell is a real place, and I'll answer you through scripture. There are over a hundred verses that reference hell in the Bible. I've chosen just three to share and I've given references for three more. Matthew 10, 28 says, and do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Psalm 9, 17 says, the wicked shall return to Sheol, translated hell, all the nations that forget God. And 2 Thessalonians 1, 8 through 9 reference hell in flaming fire, inflicting vengeance on those who do not know God and on those who do not obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus. 
they will suffer the punishment of eternal destruction away from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his might. Also check out Mark 9, 47, Luke 3, 17, and Matthew 24, 51. So hell is a real place, but don't take my word for it. See what the word of God says. The last question for today, if God is a loving king, why would he send people to hell? Famous blind and deaf author and speaker, Helen Keller, was known for saying that a good God would never send people to hell. She therefore rejected the salvation message of the Bible because it says that those who won't accept Jesus' free gift of salvation are destined for hell. Was she right? God is a good God. That's why he gives us the way to salvation so that we can spend eternity with him. Jesus says in John 14, 6, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. God is good. He has been called a gentleman by so many people who truly got to know him. He's a gentleman because he doesn't force himself or his gifts on us. Those who find themselves in hell will be there out of their own choice. Joshua 24, 15b says, choose this day whom you will serve. Deuteronomy 30, 15 says, today I am giving you a choice. You can choose life and success or death and disaster. Revelation 3, 20 says, here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. These verses point to choice. They reveal that God has given us a free will. If we don't want to take his path of salvation, is that God's fault? I would say not. God is good and he loves us enough to give us the choice to accept Jesus as the only way. If you are watching this and you don't know Jesus as your savior, today is your day. 1 Corinthians 15, two to four says, by this gospel, you are saved that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day. Believe on Jesus today for your salvation. Thank you for listening. Please hit like and subscribe.